You hold on to friends by keeping your heart a little softer than your head. Hello and welcome to WMT Reviews, I am Wiseman Tanofsky, and today we're taking a look at Star Wars The Clone Wars Series 1, Episode 7, Duel of the Droids. The resolution of this two-part story arc, Duel of the Droids, sees Anakin and Ahsoka lead a daring rescue mission aboard a Separatist listening post to recover their lost comrade R2. While Skywalker searches for his companion, Ahsoka bravely confronts General Grievous alone, and R2 faces off against the turncoat double agent R3. Wow, what an incredible episode this is. This is what Star Wars is supposed to be. Action-packed fun, but with a deeper underlying lesson to be taken away by the audience. Duel of the Droids boasts an almost entirely action-based plot, an epic lightsaber duel between Ahsoka and Grievous which outdoes the poorer Kenobi fight in the previous episode in every way, a classic Star Wars revelation in the form of the treacherous R3, and even a droid-on-droid -droid battle in the episode's climax. The story builds on a shaky first part with more action, more drama, and battle sequences throughout its entire second and third act. This is how you finish off a two-parter. Aside of course from Anakin and Ahsoka in this episode, a lot of the focus is drawn to R2-D2 himself, really highlighting the ingenuity and the stubbornness of everyone's favourite little droid. Just because he finds himself trapped in a cupboard en route to the enemy base doesn't mean he's going to give up, and the R2 unit does everything he can to make life difficult for his captors. This is also the first time Anakin goes AWOL on a mission and leaves Ahsoka in charge, knowing she'll see the mission through while he recovers R2, and it allows for some great development of her character, especially as she faces off against General Grievous, using her own unique fighting style to counter the General's incredibly aggressive assault. Speaking of Grievous, I have never felt so satisfied with the portrayal of this character as I was in one single scene of this episode. Ron Perlman's returning character, Ganacht, upon learning of the R2 unit's importance, begins to push his luck with Grievous, and the general responds by simply killing him. This depiction of his ruthless brutality is what I wanted from the start. It's one thing to have him smashing droids that fail him, but to have him straight up murder a subordinate just because he tested his patience was something I never expected and made me outright say, now that's more like it. Although just saying, I called R3 being a traitor in the previous review. Like I said, too inept to be true. But as predictable a reveal as it was, it was still a decent twist. Frankly, Duel of the Droids stands shoulder to shoulder with Rookies in my eyes. Whereas Rookies tells its story through character and development, Droids tells it through intense action, powerful subtexts of camaraderie and brotherhood, and a thrilling conclusion. An excellent instalment in the Clone Wars series, I'd have to award the episode a standout 8.5 on the Orsometer. Great story which builds on its predecessor in every way, and an incredibly satisfying resolution to a two-part story arc. So that is an 8.5 on the Orsometer for Star Wars The Clone Wars Series 1, Episode 7, Duel of the Droids. I've been Wiseman Tanofsky, this has been WMT Reviews, thank you very much for listening.